Uh, they're hard workers and I don't know, they always come through. They're always willing to do whatever it is you ask them. It's, it's awesome just because they're, they want to work. The students are a lot of fun. They, uh, they like to work. They're really committed to working every day. They come in, they just get right to work, get right to it. They show enthusiasm every day. As one of the oldest operating wineries in the country, the Renault Winery of Egg Harbor City has definitely evolved over the years, but has only continued to grow more and more successful. Since its creation, the winery has thrived since the late 1800s well into the early 1900s and hasn't stopped since. The facility's obvious success is demonstrated through their many attractions such as their beautiful Tuscany House Hotel, the exquisite dining, the incredible golf course, and of course, the wine. Collaborating with the Renault Winery is the Greater Egg Harbor Regional High School District. Recently, the school district has begun a program to aid students in their professional and successful transition into the workforce, the School to Career Program. Within the program, a designated portion of the day is given to students in which they will be placed in paid positions, volunteer positions, or shadowing positions within the school's surrounding community. I'm the School to Careers Coordinator, which involves uh, setting up placements for students out in the community, um, overseeing the, the students and their uh, work experience while they're out in the community. Uh, the students at, at this placement um, work in different departments throughout the resort, um, work in the restaurant, work with uh, the EVS department, which is basically maintenance and um, setting up for banquets and things like that. Uh, one of my students works with the housekeeping department here in the hotel, uh, stripping beds, um, taking all the dirty linens out of the rooms. Um, they um, go through the, the lobby, straighten the lobby, make, the, make sure the windows are clean, um, work on both sides here in the hotel and then over in the winery and through the banquet halls get here, I meet the kids, they get dropped off. They get dropped off about 8 o'clock. We have some prep time where we get our uniforms on and then we go down and the kids go to different areas and they, depending on the needs of the hotel and the restaurant and the banquets, we separate and do whatever tasks are assigned to us. Hmm, favorite thing to do? Setting the table, folding the napkins. I love folding napkins. I look like I'm doing a magic trick like a book. I like doing the ice too. That doesn't really bother me doing the ice. Well, it's you know, like clean windows. It's like, the vacuum is not bad either. Yeah. I like working at the restaurant. I like wiping tables down. And like, I like, you know, polishing cups. Like, they're being easy, quick jobs I could do. Like, one of my favorite kind of jobs to do. We, I, I spent a lot of time in late in the spring and throughout the summer looking for different placements and trying to find placements that would be uh, a good fit for our students. Uh, so right when we, and I fortunately was, uh, was able to come here to the Renault and to uh, meet general manager here and we, uh, I couldn't have asked for a better placement to start than, than this. Well it's a daily adjustment. We are very new and uh, the Renault has been absolutely wonderful. They opened their business to us to let our kids experience all different facets of employment. It's been wonderful. It's pretty good. Like I like it. Like, it's been great so far. I really like how much I do like the kitchen. I like working in a restaurant, so it's been great. My new job is great because I love working in the restaurant a lot. It has a nice hotel, and I like folding napkins a lot and doing all the silverware at the restaurant, polishing silverware, polishing the glass. I like folding the roll-ups too. So they're always helpful no matter what it is. Um, whether I'm serving or hosting, he, whenever I ask them to wipe down the menus for me or uh, to go see the table, go greet a table for me, they'll do it. Um, if I'm serving, if I have to ask them to 
you know, do me a favor and pour coffee for me. They'll do it. They're they're really uh, obedient. They they work very well with me, and uh, they like working here. So. Well, the skills that I myself that I really want them to to learn are more of the just the behind the scenes, like they call them soft skills or employability skills. So regardless of what type of employment they go for, they, uh, the students will have the understanding of being on time, uh, taking pride in their work, um, being diligent and, and working and, and doing a great job, regardless of whether they're, they're working in a restaurant or they're, they're working in a warehouse. They get into a schedule, they get into a routine. It helps their social skills, obviously, immensely. And it just proves not only to them, but to other people that they can do the work. The, the routine of waking up and going to work and doing what's asked for them and um, without them, you know, having to do it by themselves. At first, it's really, you know, it's heavy, but you just got, you know, you know, just got, you just gotta do your work, you know? Like, you just gotta do, do your job. No matter, no matter how hard, you, know, you just keep going. The most important skill we're trying to in, uh, in, impose on them is learning to come in, take direction, act professional. They're, they have a break room, they punch a time clock, they wear a uniform, um, and then they're learning many different skills. The one thing I learned is how to uh, polish the silverware. I, the one thing I gotta do is you gotta know what's done because the workers can't, can't tell you what to do and keep watching all the time. You have to work independent because you have to get ready for the real world. I was like a little nervous, like I don't know how to fold napkins now. Mr. Joe always teaches me. That's the easiest way I could fold napkins now. Now I got into it and you know, it's really not that bad at all when I fold napkins, you know? I'm getting in the real world. They're capable of doing the work and they understand what good work is and they have work ethics and they want to do, like I said, they just want to work. Having responsibility and also teamwork, and, you know, and you see those, both of these things will help me in my life and in my future lifelong goals of what I plan to do. It's, uh, it's honestly, it's, it's pretty inspiring. Um, you know, they, there's, they're giving a chance to view how um, the real world, real world is without getting dumped in there by themselves. Absolutely. It's the best way to socialize them and just implementing this kind of stuff, it, it opens everyone's eyes on both ends. We uh, work with students with disabilities, so there are challenges that some days and some days are, but for the most part, uh, the students have been doing a, a great job. Uh, as just like any other teenage student, they have their, their moments and their days where some days are more difficult than others. Uh, but for the most part, they, they've been coming here and, and they've been really working towards independence and, and doing the jobs on their own. Oh yeah, I hear Bobby all the time asking people how their day is going, you know or making comments like today we had an anniversary so we had roses on the table and it was easy for him to ask and then just to say oh happy anniversary on the way out as well. It's not difficult for them to do the jobs. Sometimes it's difficult to keep them doing the jobs. Like they, they're deaf, they're, they're kids and that's why we're here to keep them focused and get into that transition into the working world. You know, they get excited, which it's understandable. They're in a new area, but they always, you know, just take your time and reel them in and just kind of get them back to focus. They, they do listen. Um, I don't really, I haven't really had any problems yet uh, with them listening to me, uh, doing what they have to do, because I give them a list so they, they know exactly what, um, what's uh, expected of them to finish. and. Um, and they get right to work. Our students used to go out to a, a separate school district and we thought we could service the students better knowing, knowing them for their four years through the high school before they would come out and uh, work in the community.
Hey, you can see a beautiful day out in the windows. You can see all the golf courses. I'm so lucky to work in this hotel room, you know? Now, I thank Mr. Markley for giving me this job. Like, it's been great. I love this restaurant.